Today we're heading to the only national park we have not been to in Colorado, Mesa Verde National Park. Right? We've been to all the parks? <laughs> yeah. So we've been to, what, Sand Dunes, Rocky Mountain, Black Canyon of the Gunnison, Mesa Verde. Here, you do it. <laughs> going to head to the visitor center first if you're wanting to take some tours of the cliff dwellings then you have to purchase uh, tickets at the visitor center i had no clue it rained this much in colorado most of the places we've been it looks like desert but i promise it rains like almost every day at least a little bit in the afternoons One advantage of the rain. Yeah. Beautifully loves the rain. <laughs> So there were some tour tickets left. There wasn't any until noon for the, like the afternoon time. Mesa Verde National Park is a heritage site for the ancestral Pueblo people. Well, this is a pretty awesome piece of history that we're gonna check out today. It's like all the other Colorado National Parks we've been to, there's a lot of driving required. From the park entrance to get to our first tour is gonna be an hour drive. But Balcony House and Cliff Palace are beside each other. So we're going to do those tours back to back today since we'll already be right there. They've got some pull off overlooks along the way. So we couldn't pass some of these up. So beautiful. The, the colors are just popping. Oh, when I come up, I'm scared the heck out of me. I don't want to see <laughs> Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do, Marissa. Going right up through there. There he is, Hensley. Snake, see him? Yeah, this guy said he wandered up on that on the trail. The guy right in front of us, I would have lost it. The pit house is where they would have fires and grind their corn and uh, just where they do all their work to prepare their food really. to me that they have found like 600 of these cliff dwellings around here. How cool would that have been to discover these? Really beautiful, something I've never seen before. So that's the Mesa top sites. So they used to live on top of the Mesa and then something, they're not sure what, <laughs> caused them to move down and be cliff dwellers. Sun Point View is a definite must stop because you can see multiple cliff dwellings from this overlook. You can see all their neighbors, which is crazy to think about that they were neighbors, but it looks extremely difficult to get to your neighbor's house. So I don't think you would, uh, go be borrowing sugar or anything. <laughs> this is Sun Temple. It's another top mesa. There's no windows, no doors. So I'm not really sure what they did. I guess they're going through the top. This is House of Many Windows. You can see a tiny area over there of all these windows of a cliff dwelling. Apparently I am not great at spotting cliff dwellings because I have to get help from everybody standing around to point them out. So we're heading to the guided tour for the balcony house. Most of these you have to have a ranger give a guided tour for them. So that's the whole thing behind getting the tickets and all that. They just want to make sure to preserve everything. Uh, totally understandable. Yeah. So 
So the ancient Pueblo people lived here for about 700 years. And for 600 of those, they built their dwellings up on, on the top. But the last 100 years they were here, which all this around 1200 AD, I believe, they decided to move from the top uh, to the cliffs where they made cliff dwellings there. And then for some reason, after 100 years, they just, um, you know, around 1300 AD, they just up and left the cliff dwellings. <laughs> Nobody really knows why, for sure. There were around 6,000 that lived in this area, in these cliffs. I'm a child. Climb that ladder. Climb that ladder. Good job, Hensley. Go, Hensley, go. Good job climbing. So the best theory is this was a dance hall. They could sit up here. And then this would have been this area would have been the dance floor down here. Shh, gotta be quiet. So this is a fire pit, fire pit called a kiva. It's used for religious purposes, cooking, and I would assume probably to heat the place sometimes too. Tunnel. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Tinsley's nap time. It's really pushing her limits, but <laughs> good thing we've got back-to-back -to -back tours and now we're since that one went over, there's no rest time in between, which is yeah. what I was hoping for. Yeah, this one went over 30 minutes, so <laughs> our, uh, our plan to let Hensley nap in between is not gonna happen. Good thing it's not a tour where she can't touch anything. Yeah, those are the best. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, frequently fail the test when it comes to her not touching anything. Or... Hey, she went that whole time without touching she anything. Did, she did pretty good. You ready to do another uh, hike? about to start our tour for Cliff Palace. They said this was not as difficult as the other one. <laughs> so that's good. They said that was the most difficult one. This is definitely a must do. This yeah. is awesome. They finally did explain as far as where everybody went uh, from these dwellings. Um, a combination of basically using up all the resources in the area on top of famine, on top of, you know, once the food started running out, everybody started getting kind of cranky, I'd say. Uh, they started, you know, fighting with each other as well. At which time that's when they came down and started living in these dwellings like this but they just, they still just couldn't survive. There just weren't enough resources in the area. There's just so much mystery. I think that's what makes it so cool mm -hmm. is there's just, there's not a lot of answers to our questions. You're like, why did they do this and do that? And it's like, why would they use so much time and energy building these when they, they are, you know, they know pretty much for sure they didn't have that many resources to start with. So I don't know, you know. It's um, just really cool to think about. Definitely something to see though, and something to learn about. It's a great piece of history. Mm -hmm. So we made it through two one-hour tours with Hensley today. She did awesome. The Cliff Palace, definitely a little bit easier to uh, get around in than, than Balcony House, but both of them were 
really doable and there was people of all ages. I think sometimes climbing ladders and doing things that are uphill with a carrier might look dangerous but it's really not at all unless Marissa just had a brain lapse or something <laughs> just pushed off and I don't, I don't know why you did it but if you can climb a ladder you can climb a ladder with a carrier it's really not I'm not gonna say really any harder. Mm -mm. Uh, so just always talk to your rangers when you that's what is so great about welcome centers and we just kind of talked to her and uh, told her our situation and she said we would be fine on any of the tours and recommended them and they're carrier friendly so um, we had a really good day. Did you have fun Hensley? Fun hiking. You had fun hiking. They had some really awesome views. Can you imagine if you lived under a cliff and that was your view every day? Like, yeah, I don't know what you do if like <laughs> you're afraid of heights or something. They just kick you out of the <laughs> village. Or, yeah. Can you make a house like that? I'm sure you can. But... Would it be hard to like get electricity and water too? Because I think I would need that. I'm not as hardcore as they were. We're gonna. Enjoy this beautiful drive back to the RV. We'll see you guys later.